Hello and welcome back. And today is Sunday, so I will not play chess because Sundays are rest days. But uh, in today's video, I would like to do uh, four things. Uh, first, I want to say a thank you. Then I want to um, briefly look back uh, at our statistics. Um, then I want to show a couple of games, uh, my best and my worst that we have played during the journey. Uh, although it was a little bit tough to select them because, well, there were many of both categories, so uh, I had to make a choice. Uh, and then I want to review my new openings, uh, my choices and plans for the future. Um, and I also hope to wrap it up and, 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 and make it a little bit of a short video. Uh, so uh, so let's, uh, let's, uh, let's start. Let's, let's look at our statistics. Um, so we started at September 2020, September, the, oh, it's still a little bit early. Well, you, you can, you can read it with me. We started in September in 2023. Um, and we played, uh, a little bit over 200 rapid games and we actually won 73% of them, only drew 5% and lost 22%. And the interesting part is actually that with the white pieces, we were doing quite well, actually. We won 80% and only lost 30%. And with the black pieces, we did it a little bit worse uh, with 66% of wins and 30% of losses. Um, well, that, that, that doesn't change my decision-making part on the opening uh, decisions, but it is an interesting uh, statistic. Um, we had a best win streak of 22. Well, that was, of course, in the, in the beginning. And um, yeah, so we played over 200 uh, rapid games. Now, I selected a couple of games uh, from which I think were my best and my worst. And it's a, it's a tough selection because um, there were many games I, I think were pretty nice, but <laughs> and also a lot of games that were pretty ugly. Uh, yeah, but you have to make a decision. And this was um, a game I played in the beginning of the journey, actually. Um, and maybe you have seen those games, maybe not. So could be fun. And I faced the Carol Khan and I actually played the exchange variation in the beginning. Now before the journey, uh, I used to play the uh, advanced a lot. Um, but yeah, those lines were so sharp. Uh, I always went for, for this, this the type of stuff, but it was not really fitting my style. And I was looking for something more boring. Uh, so I decided to, to go for the exchange variation. Um, and I was actually, it was funny because a couple of days before this game, I was looking at some YouTube videos of, of Naroditsky. Uh, and he played one of these uh, games, one of the exchange variations in one of his, um, what's it called? One of his uh, uh, climbing, uh, climbing uh, the rating ladder uh, videos or something. So I had some inspiration. Now, of course, you can choose all sorts of move orders, but I really like this one because now that Bishop has nothing to pin. He goes there anyway. So I can swing my queen around. Now he offers a queen trade. And I was so excited to see this move. Uh, because I really wanted to trade and then double the pawns and plant my knight here. That was one of the ideas uh, of that opening. So I immediately went for it because the bishop was still undeveloped. So I can just hop my knight there. 
Now he attacks my bishop. Um, I wanted to stay on the diagonal, so I went here. Now he attacks, and now I can finish my knight hop journey. Defend everything, blockade everything. Uh, everything is nice and protected. Um, I was so happy with this configuration. Uh, the only downside was that my rook is tied down to the defense of the pawn. Um, but we can solve those problems in the future. Uh, then he went, made a blunder. Um, I understand that move. He wants to expand, uh, open up lines. But he took away an escape square for the knight. And I spotted it. So moved the bishop and then trapped the knight. Thank you. And from this point, it was more about consolidating. Uh, here I played a3 to free my rook. After a rook trade, now we exchange some pieces, do some fancy stuff with the move order thing, and that's about it. And then he blundered the rook. That was the game. Um, and I, I, I really like this game, but it all had to do with this concept with uh, yeah, with, with the knight blockading the pawns and. I play a lot of Karo Khans and, and <laughs> this is not a lot of fun to to play uh, as a Karo Khan player with black. It, it, this, this is just not, not really fun. Um, so yeah, I, I really enjoyed this game. Uh, I was really proud of it, actually. Um, then I played a game which was horrible, absolutely horrible. And this game actually made me change my repertoire at that moment um, so also this was also in the beginning of the journey and here I played the Italian and whenever they play the Petrov I just wanted to play you know as recommended and take the pawn now my opponent played the Stafford and everybody says that the the Stafford is uh, dubious and it's supposed to be good for white uh, if you can memorize 10 moves or so uh, and avoid the, all those tricky, tricky variations. Well, I can't. I was I actually looked at the, the, the Stafford just to be a little bit prepared if, if I encounter it. Uh, so I did pretty well for a long time, um, but eventually I blundered. I should have played rook b1 here, but I forgot and I thought, well, let's trade that, those bishops up. The more pieces disappear, the better for me. And he has this, what is, is it, this Ritzenzuk or something? I don't know, but well, he tricked me with this move and I did found the the best defensive move so that was a good thing but now we are in an end game and i'm down the exchange and i was pretty angry i was like ah now i fell for an opening trap uh so annoying i just want to play chess um so after this game i decided i don't want to play into a well i, wa I want to avoid those tricky lines. I don't want to memorize all those variations. Um, so that's why I actually uh, found those that, that, that simple E4 course on Chessable and I bought it and I used it. And uh, maybe it's a little bit boring, some boring lines from time to time, but you avoid all those trappy things and it, the, the course focuses more on um, you know on, on, on basic principles just controlling the center get the pieces out and play an equal middle game and I, I actually I, I really like that concept 
but first we have to play this game. I, I, I did want to resign, but I was like, well, you know what? You won the exchange. Now just show me how you're going to convert. I have the bishop pair, so you never know what's going to happen. I expand a little bit. Here I won a pawn. That's a good start. We shuffle a little bit. Um, of course, not making all the best moves, but it was all right. Now I get a passed pawn. Um, and here I missed a tactic. I only had a minute left, so I'm not blaming myself for missing it. And well, back then I was. Um, well, I was just starting to do tactics training, so. But here I can just take the knight. I didn't want to trade pieces, so I immediately discarded that move. I just don't want to trade, I'm down. But I missed that I can just skewer the rooks here because, well, there's a back rank mate. Uh, so he can't take my bishop. If he takes my bishop, it's actually checkmate. So I will, I will win. Uh, what's the best move here? I think this was the best move. And now <laughs> I'm completely winning. But unfortunate, I'm not an engine, so I missed it. Um, but still, I won another pawn. I made it difficult for my... I don't think this game my opponent had a lot of fun. Maybe in the opening, because he won the exchange. But after that, he was... Only had his pieces on the all, the all the pieces on the back rank. He, he didn't have a lot of fun, I think. So eventually I blundered. Now the rook comes in. Repeat moves. Nope. Okay, no draw. And then oopsies. <laughs> I trapped the knight by accident. This was an accident, or I was just a little bit lucky here. And uh, I managed to promote the pawn. And actually save the game. That was pretty funny. And here he resigns. So, but yeah, it, it was quite annoying. Um, so, here I decided to to change the repertoire to 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 what I played so far. Um, then I have this game, um, and this game. Well, I just wanted to show because um, well, I, I didn't make all the right. I, I'm really going fast in this one. Um, but I just want to show this point, this type of position. Well, I could have made different decisions, of course, because we are in an opposite colored bishop endgame. Well, we still have a rook, but those rooks will be traded off soon. But these positions, I enjoy the most. It's just, I, I like to play this type of endgame. So, uh, if I can direct the game somehow into something like this, I would go for it every single time. It's not that I'm good at it, but I don't know. It's just something I enjoy. It's just fun to do. Um, I'm actually curious about what type of game you like to play. Do you like the openings more or the middle games? Do you like sharp and chaotic positions? or? Do you enjoy end games more? I'm actually curious. Um, now here we trade rooks. Uh, we had to do a lot of shuffling. I'm a, I'm a, I am up a pawn. Um, and although it's an opposite colored bishop, I figured out a way to win. And that was pretty awesome. I was pretty happy with this game. Uh, um, 
<laughs> I have this game. This was just... Oh man, he, he murdered me this game. Sometimes you have that. Um, it's okay. This was a Sicilian. Um, and I'm, I'm obvious I'm out of theory. I'm, I'm not really know what I'm doing, but I'm just trying to do the best. And here I can give this check. Of course, I was hoping for a, a blockade. The, the puzzle rush tactic, but obvious my opponent didn't went for that. He went with the king here. And I thought that this is completely winning for white. You know, um, look at the position, it's horrible. I make a one mover, bad move. And all of a sudden, black is completely winning here. It's actually funny. And well, if I look at this position, I would say it's pretty good for white, but it's uh, it's not. This was such a weird game. And all of a sudden, my queen is trapped. I have <laughs> I have no place for the queen in the middle of the board. What a weird. This was such a weird game. Then he took. And I try to centralize my rook, but now the queen comes in and he forks my pieces. Oh man, I try to defend, but now he's going to remove a defender. I tried this move, a little bit of hope chess, hoping that well maybe if he takes my oh, if he takes my bishop, then I can fork and then well maybe maybe I can come back. Of course, he, he didn't blunder that. Now I'm just down so much material. Um, he brings the king, which is the best move. Um, and oops, my knight is trapped. And here I resigned. What a weird position, but you absolutely murdered me. Well, that was one of my worst games, I think. Um, this is something in the same category, but this was just pure my own fault. Carol Khan, uh, I was doing quite well. Followed the theory. And here I won a piece. And, well, that's just amazing. I'm just up a piece out of the opening. Should be an easy win. But somehow I, I managed to, <laughs> to mess it up and got my piece trapped. So I had to give it up for a pawn. Um, and then, well, as soon as you make a blunder, you make another one. So I drop another piece. Now I'm all of a sudden down a piece. I grab a pawn because I'm a pawn grabber. Now my knight is trapped. Uh, I try to protect the knight. Now he's attacking my rook. I protect the rook. And now an absolutely disgusting move. This is such, this is so disgusting. <laughs> he sacrificed the knight to disconnect my rooks. This is, this is disgusting. So I take the knight. He takes my rook. But I don't have a good discovery check. I mean... Okay, I take the bishop, but I can't get my knight out. It's trapped. I tried this move. Maybe he didn't saw it, but he took my knight. And yeah, now I'm just down a full rook. In a completely lost endgame. And I was thinking, well, do I have enough pawns? But uh, this, this is hopeless against the rook. All my pawns are falling. So I resigned here. This was a really, a really bad game. Um, but sometimes uh, things can turn. This was maybe one of my best game based on accuracy, I think. Well, I, I play with an, well, as you can see, pretty high accuracy. Nine. I had a couple of games I played with a 100. But those games were just only the opening. Uh, so it was just theory from start to finish. That's 
not really impressive. This game was just chess and sometimes it just clicks. You just see the moves and you don't have to think a lot about it. Um, and my opponent helped a little bit here by taking the pawn. For instance, here I saw that the knight is running out of square, so I played the bishop f3 with the attention to push the pawn and well, the, the knight is trapped in that situation. And that's what happened, so we have to go back with the knight. I bring more pieces with tempo, queen goes back. I get my queen off the back rank here, attacks my bishop. Uh, and I was really into a uh, danger level uh, mode. So I give this check. He takes, I take back with check, a discovery check. Now he moves. Now I move the bishop to safety with tempo on the rook. He attacks my bishop. Now I play the bishop here using the pin so he can't take my bishop. That was a sick game. Um, now I take the knight and here he resigns because I'm going to win the queen and all my pieces are coming in and this is this is hopeless. Uh, yeah, the, the, yeah, pretty strong game. Um, sometimes you just play a strong game. It, it happens. And then the next game you blunder <laughs> all your pieces <laughs> and yeah that's uh, part of the journey i think uh, th th this was just a couple of games i i enjoyed um, and, and th there, there were many more of course but i i can't show everything then then the video is going to take three hours and, and that's not the point um, so now we are going to uh, one of the last parts of the video, which is the opening review. Um, now with the white pieces, what I'm, what I want to play and what I'm going to play uh, is white f3. That's 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 the move order I've chosen uh, for a couple of reasons. Um, one of them is the um, uh, surprise factor. I mean, on, on, on this account, well, we, we've played a little bit over 200 games, so that's 100 games with white. And I faced one knight of three uh, exactly zero times, so I've not seen it before. And on my main account, I have seen it in maybe three percent five percent of the of the time so that's almost never so that's the first thing you uh, i'm trying to make my you know opponents uh, uncomfortable uh, right from the start but it's also a good move a uh, very flexible move can transpose into a lot of things now of course i have to be able to adapt to what my opponent is going to play he has so many options but what I'm looking for is, um, well, I want to play the ready, but in a more delayed version. So if they play d4, oh, you already see the arrows. Um, I've been looking at this, but I don't like this move order. Uh, so I just go with the Fianchetto castle and then go for c4. Um, now, if I have the option two, um, I will try to play the Catalan. And that's also my long-term plan. I, I do want to learn the Catalan with white. But it's such a tough opening. And there's so much theory that, and, and I have zero, ex zero experience in these type of positions and, and openings, that I think it's going to be too much. So I will just, try to start with something simple uh, and build my way up and then evaluate in a couple of weeks and then we all always can decide to take it to the next step or just stick to this um, so so yeah I'm, I'm, 
most of the times I will be ending playing c4 after the v and Kedo and castle. Um, and this move order, uh, I will go for the English setup with also the v and Kedo um, and uh, stuff like that. It's it's a little bit maybe boring, um, but I, I really like this uh, type of stuff and I, li I like them. The, the 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 plans you know the, the the ideas i i want to become a little bit better at positional chess and i think this is going to help me to do that um now it's going to be a lot of fun in the beginning because, because i have ex I, I have no experience in this so everything can happen uh, i do have a course now on the on this opening um but the way I learn the best is I will first start just playing, um, maybe blundering, then go back to the course. Then I'm going to look up how you actually play the game uh, or the position. Uh, and, and, and in that way, I can also make that connection better. Uh, and, and and maybe I will do it on camera as well. We we will see. Um, but that's the way I learn the best. So just first start playing and then go look at how it's supposed to go and then try to make that connection. So against all those moves, maybe they will play the right bit. Well, then we are just up a pawn <laughs> and I will just go back do the same stuff, consolidate and, and try to convert. Um, and yeah, we, we, we will see. Um, so that's that's what I'm going to play. It's maybe not the most exciting opening, uh, but it can become exciting. Who knows? So that's what I'm going to do. Knight f3. Um, now with the black pieces, um well most of the times they will play uh, e4 and uh, i'm actually going back to basics i'm going to play e5 i've never learned how to play e5 uh, i think it's uh, a shame for me <laughs> I, I i started right away with the carol khan and but and but when i bought the course for white with one e4 and knight f3 when i played that with white i also had zero experience but it helped me so much in just getting those fundamentals down you know understanding the basis and stuff like that and i also want to do that with the black pieces to be honest now it, it this is, I have to be preparing myself for everything they can throw at me. I have, well, if they play, I don't know, the, the, the four knights. Okay, I, I have a little bit of experience with this because I play this with white. Um, and if they uh, play the Vienna, well, I also know a little bit about the Vienna because I played the Vienna with white a lot in the past. So, but that's about it. But that, that's a good thing, you know, it's uh, it's fun. And uh, we have to be flexible and, and, and willing to adapt. Maybe we get closed positions, open positions, chaotic, I don't know. We will see. Um, and uh, I think it's going to help me improve over time uh, or not we will find out but i'm looking forward to it it's going to be fun and exciting um against d4 uh for now i will stick to d5 um, otherwise it's going to be too much now I, in one of uh, narrow disky's videos he mentioned that he was working on a um, King's Indian defense, I believe, on chessboard. 
And as soon as that, that course comes out, I want to give that a shot. I really like this move order with knight f6. Uh, and he promised some pretty lines against the Queen's Gambit and the London um, and some other stuff. Um, so as, as soon as that, that comes out, I, I really want to give that a shot as well. So I will not be sticking to uh, d5 uh, forever, but just for the time being. I, I really need some. I really need some backup um, as an opening course. Otherwise, uh, I think I will be lost quite fast. So, so that so that's uh, that's the plan. So with white, one knight f3, and with black, we are going to play e5, um, and then. Uh, and then we will figure something out. Now I have a new account on chess.com, so I'm not going to continue on this one. Um, and I have permission from chess.com to actually use that account for this purpose. So just good to mention that, well, maybe in the beginning, we'll face uh, maybe lower rated players, um, but it is with permission, so there you go. Um, I also will be recording every single game, and I'm also going to upload every single game. So even if the game is maybe ending in, in five moves, I will just upload it and play another one. I just want to make a complete, a complete journey to 2000 with all the garbage in it so I just want to make a complete set um, and uh, and that's what we are going to do um, I'm looking forward to it so we will start tomorrow on Monday now on the days I'm feeling off I will stick to playing against the bots I, it, it's really working out for me um, it also relieves a lot of pressure of having to play every day um, i don't need to uh, so I, I i won't if i if i'm not feeling uh, fine um, and maybe i want also to introduce another concept so now we are going to work on our positional chess with the white pieces we are going to play on our well, dynamic chess with the black pieces. To, that's how I would uh, like to see it. Um, now, there's only one part that. Um, well, the, the <laughs> there are many parts in chess where I suck, but where <laughs> I'm really bad at attacking chess. That's I'm, I'm just not good at it. So I was also considering maybe. Um, playing one day in the week, uh, playing aggressive chess, maybe on Fridays or on Thursdays or whatever, call it aggressive Friday or aggressive Thursday, where I will be playing only aggressive chess. Um, and well, maybe that can help. Um, and maybe in shorter time control, so it's more of a fun, relaxing, but also good for the learning process uh, thing. But I will have to think about it. It, it it's, it's going to be a lot. So maybe not right now, but maybe in the near future, I want to introduce that. Um, but uh, we will see. It's just something on my mind. First, start with the new journey. And uh, yeah, and we can always uh, change things up or adapt. And that's about it. Um, yeah, I don't think I am forgetting anything. And if so, then, well, then, then we have enough time to bring it up on a different day. So um, I hope you are looking forward to it. Um, I hope you will uh, um, uh, stick to the channel I would really appreciate it 
it's it's really a lot of fun um, being part of this community and doing this with you um, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to the future I think it's going to be awesome and uh, I want to thank you for for watching and I hope I will see you back tomorrow um, when we are going to start our new journey to 2000 um, uh, it's exciting I'm looking forward to it all right well I'm going to end the recording here I will see you back tomorrow